I know. But when Randy and Bunky says, Amen, 40,000 people say Amen. Amen. So then the whole ground starts to shake. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, this is amazing. So we're not going to see tonight how Gideon had the victory. Why? Because the one who brought the victory was with him. So the plan was there and it was going to happen. But we want to know God. That is what we want to know. Why? Because Daniel said, if you know him, you will be strong. Yeah, yeah. So it's not about the ending of the story. It's about the God of the story. Yeah. Yeah. To get to know your God. If you want to be victorious over your drugs, over your anger, over your rage, over your hate, over your disappointments, get to know God. Because there's so many stories in the old and the new. It doesn't matter what story. Your story is in the Bible. You will find it somewhere. You might not be a Peter. You might not be a John. You might be a Timothy. Or you might be a, a Thomas. But your story will be in it. And you will get courage from what? From the Bible. Why? Because those people knew that God. Thomas knew his God at the end. He went to, he went to India. And India was shaken by the ministry of Thomas. Because he got to know the author of the Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Yeah. Now, listen good. Now, open your little ears. Okay? Open your little ears. Listen good. Because then you hear the Spirit talking. Then the angel of the Lord, or Yahweh, put forth to the end of the staff that was in his hand, and touched the flesh, and unleavened cakes, and the rose of fire out of the rock, and consumed the flesh, and the unleavened cakes. Now, watch. Who is the rock? Jesus! So we have Jesus right there. Come on. The angel touched the rock. And what came out of the rock? That's it. God in the hand. That's it. The Holy Spirit. And that is, we are to build upon the rock, and the Holy Spirit needs to come out of us. Amen. Amen. Fire needs to come out of us. Can you imagine if a preacher comes in here and he has a stick and he touches the rock, and the rock gets on fire? And that's what happened. And he sacrificed the flesh was on the rock. That shows that our Lord was going to die for us the flesh was on the rock the rock got on fire the flesh got burned jesus died and he arose and fire came out of him so we have the gospel of the cross right in that scripture so we see that the victory for gideon was in the cross ah before jesus died he gave him he gave gideon the victory already because everywhere in the Old Testament where you see an altar, you can see the cross. The cross is through the whole Old Testament. The, the gospel is concealed, but it's there. Everywhere there's an altar in the Old Covenant, the cross is there. And here we see the fire come out of it. And see, the last day believers, the last day ecclesia, the assembly has to be on fire. Amen. Amen. Have to be on fire. Hallelujah. Alex, are you sleeping? Oh, Alex, oh, I'm not hearing you tonight. Fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. So now we're going to go deeper. So we have here the cross. And the Lord said, I will give you rest. Yeah? Yes. But when you study the Greek, you will see the word rest and the word, the word peace, they are all in the word shalom. Now, in this Bible, I'm going to read this to you. This is really amazing. It's in this Bible and it talks about Yahweh Shalom. And I'm just going to read it. Shalom is a common term for greeting or farewell. I have to go backwards. The concept of shalom includes these ideas of peace, but go beyond them. 
meaning of wholeness. Everybody say wholeness. wholeness. Completeness. Completeness. Perfection. Perfection. Safety. Perfection. Wellness. Wellness. Shalom gives you harmony with God. It's the fruit, the fruit of that harmony is harmony with others, prosperity, health, satisfaction, soundness, wellness, and well-being. Okay? And there's much more. It talks about it's like coming into paradise. That is what shalom is about. See, shalom goes much deeper than peace. Peace is that you have, you have peace with your enemy. And it says in uh, Romans 5 verse 1 that we have peace with God through Jesus Christ. And that is, is true. But the peace goes much deeper. It goes being one with God. And that's what shalom does. Shalom makes you one with God. Why? Because God is shalom. Your God is shalom. And so when you read him, there is wellness for you. There is healing for you. There are blessings for you. There is strength for you. There is victory for you. Amen. Amen. And that is why you have to go beyond the Greek, the Greek mindset. You have to go and get your girdle on with understanding of who God, our God is in the old and the new. So you will see every time when you read the word shalom, no peace or rest or stillness, you say, but it goes deeper. It's shalom. Our Lord, our Lord didn't speak Greek. So it says you will find rest. But what if he said, I give you shalom? You see, because he was from the Hebrew, he was a Jew. Amen. Amen. And so you can see that, that he was saying, come out to me. You are heavy laden, and I will give you shalom. Amen. Amen. And do you want shalom? Yes. Now, shalom is more than a good feeling. Shalom is the breakthrough power. Why? Why? Because your God is a warrior. Come on. He is a warrior. I saw the word shalom does not just mean, oh yeah, you're feeling good. No. Shalom means you're ready for war. You're ready for victory. Because Gideon was going to a battle. And the army was going to go less and less and less. Yeah, less and less of me, Lord, and more of you. So that you will have the glory. It's not about our glory. It's about the Lord's glory. Amen. 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 It's about here. Less of me, more of you. Amen. Amen. And so the Lord took Gideon to that place of less of your army and more of the angels. Hallelujah. Yes. Every time less people came to the battlefield, more angels were released to bring the battle in the arena of the Lord. Because the Bible says that the battle belongs to the Lord. And so too many of you are worrying. Too many of you are feeling so, 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 so down and desperate. But God wants you to understand the Bible in a new way to get rooted in these names of your God. See, because everywhere in that name Jesus is. Jesus. He is the Prince of Peace. Come on. You see that? Yahweh Shalom. He is your Shalom. Because he is the king of peace. Amen. But he had to go, like our brother said, to Hades to get the keys. He went as a warrior to the cross. Many think, oh, he was weak. He went weak to the cross. No. It says with joy he went to the cross. Why? He knew he was going to get the keys. He knew he was going to take you from hell. Because you were condemned to hell. We were condemned to hell. But Jesus took the, took the price. He went to the torture and the punishment. What? To take you from the seat of judgment. So that the mercy would be placed on you. So that you would go free. As he paid the price for you. And as he did that, the Father said, Now you get the power of my son. And I give you resurrection life. And he went and you got the keys. Hallelujah. Why did he get the keys? Because he's the lion. Yes. 
Come on. Yes. Come He's on. the lion. Amen. And so there's a place of seeing him as the lamb. But there's also the place to see him as a lion. And too many of you, you think, oh yeah, I am born in zero. I'm going to stay in zero. Yeah? No. Jesus wants to put a one in front of the zero. If you put a one in front of the zero, what do you get? A ten. So in the Lord with Jesus, you become a ten. Amen. Amen. And so he wants to lift you up out of this miry clay pit and put that warrior in you. And if you are if you're like that, what will you have in your heart? Shalom. 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 And when the enemy is beating down on you, you go where? In a secret place. Because then you hide in him. Because the battle is the Lord's. Amen. 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 So he wants to take you deeper, amen. 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 Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's stand there. Woo! Come on. Praise God. And burn it all, praise. But the Lord is saying he wants to give people boldness tonight. I met John. Some of you are being feeling very down, very discouraged. And the Lord wants to come with that golden oil what he showed also to Brenwin. Because we're, we are not just praying for anointing, we are praying for glory. Come on. Holy glory. And glory is gold. And that's why Brenwin saw the vision of golden oil. He wants, the Father wants to take you to the glory realm. Because then you meet his heart, the heart of Shalom. Come on. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Anyone who wants to have tonight, you want to come out of the out of the spirit of defeat into the spirit of boldness. If that's you, just put up your hand tonight. Yeah, just put up your hand. And if you yes. want boldness and you have some and you want more, just put up your hand too. Yeah, I start to come to the front already. Come, come let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 